Pierce Alexander Lilholt. And if I know one thing, it's being strict. That's right. I know all about being strict. In fact, some consider me to be an expert on being strict. Others consider me to be the world's foremost authority on being strict. That's right, your teachers might be strict, your parents may be strict, a lot of people might be strict. My accent might be changing very rapidly, and then I might be talking like this, because I do not think that I need to have a strict accent right now. But, I will say, you know, there is something to be said about being strict with yourself. You could be in control. You could be a little out of control. You could do what you want, and doing what you want might be being strict. You could be strictly doing what you want. This is why being strict is open to a lot of interpretation. And I think let's break this video down into two different categories. Because this is really what being strict is all about. One... Being strict with yourself. Two, being strict with others. Let's start with number two, because I don't like it. It's, um... It is... I, I, would, I would classify it, it's being out of line. Like, okay, for instance, take a look at my face. Hair's growing in up here. Normally, I'm pretty strictly, uh, you know, keeping a well-groomed face. It's growing in a little bit here. I was out on the boat the other day. I had land sickness. I came back, and you know what? I didn't feel like shaving, and <laughs> my hair grows kind of fast, so I can't always keep up on it when I don't feel like it. But I would never go and be strict with somebody else about it and be like, hey, I'm going to shave your face. <laughs> I also I also wouldn't say I'd be overly strict with myself, but being strict with others is it's it's about control and that's why it's frankly I can't think of any I can't think of any scenario where being strict that word has implications. Very very negative implications. It's strict implies that it's going to cause stress. I mean, let's be real. Strict people who are imposing their beliefs and whatnot on you, they're going to cause you some stress. I'm stressed around all of these people trying to control me. And being strict, a lot of people are going to relate back to if if they're young, if they're young, they should not be watching me because um, this is for adults. Actually, I, I'd say I'd never check the box that this is for kids on my videos here. But I treat kids like adults who have a really, really good reason for not knowing something. Okay? So I give them the benefit of the doubt. In fact, I have a lot of respect for kids. They got a really good reason to not know something. What's your reason, okay? When you do something really dumb, let me tell you, you have plenty of years to figure that out. So that's why I think kids get along with me because, I, hey, even if, depending on how young you are, is, are we making paper airplanes? Is this going to be, are you going to learn about aerodynamics now with one single sheet of paper? Is that what we're doing today? Is this going to change your life? I hope so. But, yeah, adults... Hmm. So, for the kids, though, parents might be causing stress, but 
you know, they do pay for you to be, they do pay for the kids to be alive, so maybe they own them. It, it's a weird, being a parent, I'm not a parent, so. I don't want to comment on if you own your kids or not. But if you do own them, then absolutely you could stress them out and control them. But if you don't own them, different story. Then I would say being strict. What gives you the right to be strict with your kids? <laughs> I'm not trying to teach anybody how to parent, but let's, let's bring this back to adults here. Let's say you're in a relationship. Let's say it's your husband or wife or whoever. What gives you the right to be strict with them? Do you own that person? I know you may have signed a legally binding contract with them if you're married or whatever. If you're going to be strict, you're going to make rules? Whose rules? Because personally, I make my own rules. And if you got a problem with that, they're pretty good. My rules are, my rules are very reasonable. They involve me not telling anybody what to do, not imposing my beliefs on other people, not being strict with other people, letting other people make their own decisions. And as long as everybody's cool, hey, I'm cool with that. So I couldn't imagine trying to be strict with somebody like, hey, you've got to do this. Because I said so. And whenever your reason for... This is like often what this, oh, this person's strict. And then they come up with this reason. Because I said so. And it's like... You just lost all credibility. <laughs> if you tell me that that's your reason... I'm going to say... Well, I said otherwise. <laughs> then what are you going to do? So be like, I said so. And then I'll be like, I said otherwise. I said so. I said otherwise. I said so. I said otherwise. It could go back and forth forever if that was the reason. <laughs> when logic and reason goes out the window, well, what do we have left here? Just people being strict for no reason because they said so? <laughs> I don't like because I said so. I like because, ellipsis, reason. Some reason that happens after that. Like, hey, if you told your kid, friends, don't go play in the middle of the street. And then they're like, why? I like playing in the middle of the street. I'm a little kid. And then it's like, because we drive these, like, these huge, massive vehicles with a lot of mass, a lot of momentum, and they're more difficult to stop than you might realize and they could potentially run you over and if you got run over you might get crushed and blown apart exploded dead do you want to be dead and then they might have to be like well no life is one of the big things i've got going for me in fact it's the biggest so yeah being alive could always get back to that reason but some things are not based on that it's like if somebody says hey don't go out to that party then he'd be like well but i wanted to go to the party it was gonna be fun well don't you have any fun with me then you'd have to be like well yeah but can't we both go to the party well i'm tired i don't want to go to anything well, can't I just go and maybe you'll be sleeping, wake up, you won't be tired tomorrow? I just wanted to snuggle. Yeah, but we could do that some other time. There's only one party. Because I said so. <laughs> so there are other things where, you know, if if, if it's something that's seemingly inconsequential i mean it might be open for discussion like spending time with other people but time is the most valuable thing you have which is why the extreme would be a don't die but at the same time i think everybody's probably gonna die so as far as i know that's been my experience in in life i've yet to meet an immortal so 
So everybody's kind of already dying anyway. So you gotta, you can't just be, you can't just be taking people's life and just be like, hey, I'm being strict. I want to strictly, you know, I want to, I want to take your life <laughs> just a little bit. And what's the difference between taking somebody's life all the way and taking it a little bit? I don't know. I mean, if you're taking somebody's life and they and they don't want to do that, I think people should be having consensus, like mutual consensus, like an agreed upon, discussed outcome that, yes, it doesn't it doesn't inconvenience anybody. It doesn't disenfranchise anybody. It doesn't monopolize anybody's time. It doesn't make somebody do something they don't want to do. And being strict could end up doing that. And unless there's a really good reason, and the only one I can really think of is safety. So other than safety, and you can't weaponize safety either. Like, well, you can't go out to that party because... That's a pretty good voice. Well, you can't go out to that party because it's going to be unsafe and it'd be a lot safer here with me snuggling. And it's like, but I, I promise to be responsible at the party. These are good voices, by the way. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> they are good voices. Yeah, it's a... Um, it's an unusual thing. Being strict is open to a lot of interpretation. And then there are other interpretations of that word, like strict gun control or strict, you know, concepts that are just meaning that you're adhering to it um, without being open-minded. So I think strictness should be avoided at all costs because being open-minded is the best way to be. So if even if your kid says, hey, you know, I want to go out on a bike ride. And you say, well, is there any, what are you doing to be safe? And then they said, well, we're launching ramps into a, a volcano. And then you'd say, well, I got to say, we need to have a talk about that. I'm not going to be strict about it, but unless you're in a movie with Tom Hanks here, I'm thinking you should not be doing that. <laughs> I will say, I've never been, I've never been very susceptible to uh, strictness. So I, this might be coming from an insensitive point of view. And I do realize that if you tell me to do something and I have a really good reason to not do that, well, then you will probably have to forcibly stop me, which would be an entirely different problem, and you don't want to do that. So um, if you want to challenge what I'm doing, let me tell you, the challenge is not just one-sided here. I, um, I do make my own decisions. Strictness for me is met with um, questions. And that's what it should be met with. It shouldn't be met with anger or disobedience, sneakiness, lying, any of these things. It should just be met with question. Hey, wh why do you feel like this is what's best for me? Why are you trying to impose your beliefs on what I should be doing? I'm... I'm my own man. I'm a grown man, okay? I'll do what I want, at least now. I'm a grown man. You want to be you want to be laying down the rules for me? Let me tell you. I think I'll be the judge of that. You got rules? Not for me. Not for me. You might have some rules, and typically, most of the rules I kind of like. Because they keep all the other people in line who are going to do crazy stuff. But rules that individuals make for other individuals, you got a lot of... that. That's, that's where strictness comes back to. It's individuals making rules for other individuals. And 
what gives you the right to do that? What what makes you the government or the you know the king or the whatever it is the 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 governing body? What makes you the governing body? You alone are the governing body. It's a it's a bold claim. It's a bold claim, and for me. I'm not going to say no rules because, like I said, I'm strict with myself. Like right now, I'm strictly awesome. Oh, yeah. 